Yeah, what's up guys, so now I'm going to show you how to make image effects in Scratch. So here we have an image effect ready. So here you can see this is a trophy with the image effect of retro. Here you can see this is a had a has a green effect and a red effect too. And this looks like a retro effect. You can check it out on Google. And here you can see I also have vignette here. And this is looking pretty great. So let's get started. So here you can see I have four effects here already. And these two vignette and the retro effect would work with together. But these two are not just the part of the scene. So I didn't show you this. Here you can see this is a pixelated lighting. Here you can see when I press the green flag. Here you can see there are pixels showing up in this. And here you can see I have the spotlight. When I press the green flag, here you can see this looks like a just like a spotlight. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. First of all, the retro effect. So this is an effect like here is our the trophy. This is the our trophy or the image you like. And then it just goes to X and Y position uh, in the center. And whatever we choose, like I have said X0 and Y0. And then it just goes a little bit of right and up. Like you change X and Y by 2. And just changes the color, uh, set the color effect to 25. So here you can see when I set color effect to 25. Here you can see there is just, it turns to green and then it creates clone of itself so it just creates a clone and that moves go to back layer it goes to back layer so it is just behind the object and then it uh, again goes to the initial position that the x and y and zero and then it just goes down and a bit left change x by negative 2 and y negative 2 then it sets color effect to 175 so here you can see 175 is red color here you can see you can say pink this is a yellow so it is just showing pink actually it's red and then it again creates clone and just goes to back and again it goes to initial position and just goes to front if not on front and then clear graphic effects and this is repeated with run without screen refresh on and just goes to this forever loop so here you can see when i do this here you can see we have a green effect in the right and top as we scripted it here and a red effect in the bottom and left. So this just looks great if you want to make it follow through your mouse. Here you can see you can just put your mouse X and mouse Y here. So here you can see it follows. It's a bit laggy because scratches 30 frames per second and the script isn't very fast as clones need to get delayed. As you can see, if I just remove this delay, so then you can see it just doesn't show up. So I have to put this delay to make the effect at least visible. And this was the first effect. We have more effects here. So the second effect here is vignette. So this is a very simple and easy to make thing. And here you can see this is just a big rectangle. Let me show you how you can make that. Just make a new costume and just make a rectangle that is big enough and bigger than this stage you can see in scratch 3.11 or 0.1 or later you can just make this if you have an older version please update your scratch and here you can see when i go to fill and choose this fourth option which says with the center gradient or something like that and just set the transparency to on so here you can see this is now transparent then you can swap it so you can see this is a purple vignette like thing. You can just set brightness effect to zero to make it black. And here you can see we have our vignette ready. This is a bit too dark for a vignette. And this is very visible. The vignettes aren't very visible. So to make it invisible you can just increase the size as much as you want. I am not increasing the size. Uh, instead you can just do thing like when the green flag click just set ghost effect to say 50 so by doing this it just 
reduces the effect of vignette here you can see this is not very visible and when i close here you can see it is very visible and if i set more to 75 here you can see this looks like a real vignette like in games you can check it out on google and then we have the pixelated uh pixelated light and yeah you can see this is just the same as vignette just set the pixelate effect to 150 or 100 if you want 150 is actually visible and you can also set it to 200 and then set the ghost effect to 65 as it is also very dark so yeah you can see when i make it shown here you can see this is adding pixels as pixelated does that effect this is not a common if image effect but you, you can use this and then we have the spotlight effect and here you can see this is very pretty easy to make so let's make it and here you can see when i start just make a rectangle here and then use this point tool to just make it like a light a shape of this like cone not a perfect cone but it should have two points at the top and should be a bit out of the stage so it is not very visible and then go to fill and this third one choose this third option and then you can just set brightness effect to 100 and saturation to 0 and color doesn't matter and then go to the next color and set transparency to on you can swap colors accordingly as this effect shows up to make it visible i am just setting it to red you can set it to white and here you can see when i swap now this looks good and this is looking like a light effect you can just increase the size if you want and also you can just uh, make it white or you if you want you can just make it yellow you can see this is now yellow and the intensity can just be setted by using set brightness effect to say 20 and this just turns white and a clear graphic effects so this is just a spotlight if you want more or if you know more how to make image effects uh, let me know in the comments down below and if i get any more effects i will make an another video on this so thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial hope you enjoyed it